So, solo one's pretty simple. It's just trolls. And then zigs. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just think of it as two triplets and then some trolls. So if to hit this quint, you're just gonna do use these two fingers and then do a quad with your fretting hand. And then to hit the trips, you hit the two higher notes and then do a zig. So for this quint part, what you wanna do is hit the zig with your tapping hand and then hit that last triplet with your fretting hand. And then it just repeats. You want to make sure you like wait a little bit when you do the quint zig. Because if you hit it too early, you'll miss. So the method I use for solo 3 is a little bit ghosty, but you can like barely notice it at all. So this is basically just quad chimneys, the way I do it. So with your fretting hand, you're going to do Okay. And then with your tapping hand, you're going to go red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange. And then you combine them. It might look a little bit ghosty on this speed. But you see if I speed it up. You can barely tell. For these... I just quad it. It's really not worth your time to method these. So, this might not be everyone's way of doing this, but I one hand these sweeps and then do the. I'll tap the zigs and then do like an extra tap so you can hit that red. For this. I fret the first two quads, and then tap the higher quad, just like that. And then for the trips, I zig it with my fretting hand, and then tap the higher notes with my tapping hand. This is pretty simple. For the trips, you want to zig it and then tap the higher notes with your tapping hand. So, not a lot of people use this method because it's kind of ghosty, but you can't notice it. So what I do is I just basically just do tri trip zigs the entire time. But on full speed, it doesn't even look like a ghost thing, like, at all. Or barely. So for this, you just want to alt tap this like trills. One hand these sweeps. Alt tap these trills. Alt tap this. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Solo 8, you want to fret where there's a red note in the chord, and then tap the orange note so it hits the green chord.
And then you want to keep anchoring green and hit that last note, hit that last chord. What I like to do is change my anchor when I'm hitting that um, red, yellow, blue chord. It makes it easier to hit that green hobo, in my opinion. So for solo 9, this whole section before like the quad part is basically just a bunch of chimneys. You just want to hit all the the whole red wall by chimneying with your fretting hand. You want to double one hand and then do qu two quad chimneys. Like this. So the part after the red wall part, these are just chimneys and trills. And then these quads you want to alt tap. And then that's just a trip a trip and a quint zig. Trip quint zig, trip quint zig. So instead of thinking that as like one entire quint, I think of it as two trips. So you have like the correct fretting on the next cycle. So, there's two different ways I hit solo 10. Both of them I ghost in. So this is the most consistent way, but you can, it's very noticeably spammy. Basically, I just, this is what I do in a run. I do a, I tap a blue-orange trip zig. I, I tap a blue-orange trip zig, and then I fret a red-yellow-orange quad zig for the orange wall part. And then for this, I basically do the same thing with my fretting hand, but I change my tapping hand to be a red-blue zig instead of a blue-orange zig. So if I, if I want to be a little bit less ghosty, I do quad chimneys. Just see what my fretting hand is doing. And then you do zigs here, and then you double one hand. This may not be the way everyone does it, but this is just the way I do it. I find it the easiest. Here's the first method. Here's the second method. So same for solo 10. There's two different ways I can do this. One that's more ghosty, but more consistent. One that's less ghosty, but less consistent. So for the less ghosty method, what you want to do is tap blue, orange, yellow, blue, blue, orange, yellow, blue. And then you want to fret um, this sig, this sig, this sig, this sig, this sig, this sig, this sig. And you put them together. And then the more ghosty method that I use for runs is I do the same thing for the fretting hand, but for the tapping hand, I just do quad zigs. It looks bad at this speed, but when you speed it up, it's not that bad. So the method that I use for solo 11, these are just trills. You want to start with your fretting hand since the, the like, pattern before it is like inverted. So I just do quad zigs with my fretting hand like that. And then I tap yellow orange. 
So, and then for this pattern, it's just chimneys. So you want to zig, blue, zig. Zig, blue, zig. And then you put it together. My method for 11.5 is kind of weird, so I'll just slow it down and you guys can look at my fretting. These are just trills, but for here, so if you have the speed for it, you can do quad chimneys, so you tap orange the whole time, but you do, you go like this. You want to fret first, and then while you're letting go of the quad, you want to rake. Like that. I do a quint, two trip zigs. And there I do a quint and a quad, double one-handed quad, and then alt tap the trills. So 14 is pretty simple. The method I use for solo 15. These are just trills. I tap both of these quads after the trill, like orange blue zig and then red yellow zig, like that. Makes it easier so you can just stay at the same speed. And then for the orange wall, I do two quad chimneys, like that, so you just, you want to do quad zigs and then go up for the orange note at the end. The section is basically just a bunch of trips, so trip, 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 trip. Trip, 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 trip. Tap that as a trill. Tap that as a quad. And then just at one hand the rest. This just comes down to muscle memory. You just gotta memorize that. For solo 16. These are just trills. And then these... You want to alt tap starting with the red. Like that. Super Snake is just six. Solo 17 are just trills. You have to slow it down, memorize it. It's starter, it's, it's easier if you start on your fretting hand. And then for that, I just do trip zigs. What I do is one hand that, and then alt tap these trills. And then for this, it's just trips and quads. So for the fast part, it's the same method as solo three. 
where you just do you tap a red, yellow, orange, and then you fret quad quad higher quad. So for for the first pattern, what I do is like this. Like that. For the second pattern, what I do is the same thing, except you want to do an extra zig at the end. 